Hey guys, this game night, my cup runneth over with witty gents and my Zoom boxes runneth over with dashing dudes. I'm gonna stop saying runneth now because I sound insane, just get to the introductions. He dodges balls, he lives free and dies hard, and I'm sorry he's just not that into you. Don't worry, I'm just reading his IMDb. It's Mr. Justin Long. Hey, Hey, hello, Is. (laughs) <laughs> Thank Greetings. you for being on the guest, for supporting me in my th- in my th- <laughs> well, yeah, but, but, By the way, I, I was looking up your um, I wasn't up your IMDb and under trademarks. Do you know what your trademarks are on IMDb? Justin? Yes, th- this just came up. Um, it, it, it's like a, a bushy eyebrows or something about my eyebrows. I, I, I've got deep yet light toned voice, oh. friendly smile, and boyish looks. Oh, okay. There used to be a thing about my eyebrows. Uh, and then looking like Tim Allen, but that must be I haven't I haven't read that. I like those are nice things to those me. Are good. Yeah, you I'll approve? take those. You're okay. Okay. Let, let's see who is joining Mr. Oh, Wong yeah. today. He's a writer and director of the new film Lady of the Manor, which also happens to star and be co-written and co-directed by Justin Long. Hmm. He's also the co-host of Life Is Short, the podcast featuring Justin Long. And get this, his name is Christian Long. I think something's up here. Hi, Josh, and he has bushy eyebrows, like yes. Justin Long. Yes, and and and, uh, and he's boyish. Boyish. Uh-huh. I mean, not as boyish as Justin Long, who is, but boyish enough. You're more mannish <laughs> than I am boyish. <laughs> me, me, me thinks you guys share some genetic material. I've got brothers on the on game night for the first time. What would your trademarks be, Christian? If I, we, well, uh, first of all, I'd rather not think of my uh, genetic material because that forces me to think of something really awful. <laughs> How the genetic material is produced. Um, <laughs> Uh, my trademark, I would say, is uh, I'm I'm the yin to Justin's yang. I'm uh, I'm a little bit more sober, and grounded, yeah. and handsome, and um, smarter. <laughs> and humble. And humble. Let's not forget yes, that. Too. Much yeah, more yeah, humble. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm more self-deprecating. It's true. I'm That's the all most true. Humble. <laughs> Uh, and finally, on this game night, uh, speaking of genes, he's my genetic twin. He's the nerdiest real-life He-Man I know. You know him from True Blood, Magic Mike, and Justice League. He's probably lifting weights with his legs right now, and we just can't see it. It's Mr. Joe Manganello. It's, hey, it's true. It's true. It, 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 it's leg day. It's leg day. Um, which is a flurry of activity going on beneath, uh, beneath us. Uh, <gasps> wow. The, oh, we've got a, a, an, uh, I, I, another I, guest. Yeah, it's just a just a sleeping dog. The dog so is resting way, on the entire length of Joe's penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's just a sock puppet. No, it's a uh, perfect size. That's horrible. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm is, glad I didn't is, have to remind you. I'm glad I didn't have to remind you guys that this is uh, R-rated. You can go wherever you want. Um, by the way, Joe, your trademarks are uh, like mine: muscular physique and towering height. That's what's listed on IMDb. Can I trademark this? Like, I mean, can I sue people if they try to use those? Yeah, yeah, I think you should own those. You and you alone. If anyone gets like over 6'2", I could I could sick my lawyers on them <laughs> and right. get or money. your dog, your, yeah. your voracious evil <laughs> dog. Act dog, yeah. This is inadvertently a, uh, a Kevin Smith reunion today. I didn't even plan it this way, but mm-hmm. Joe and Justin, you shared some quality time on oh, a man. Kevin Smith film. How was that? We, I mean, I don't want to speak for Joe, but I, I, we, I, we had so much, I had so much fun um, with, with, specifically with Joe, because it was a courtroom scene and, and I was playing a, a lawyer who was very sexual. He was a, it was a character that I played in, in Zach and Miri and, and um, he, he was like this very sexual guy. He was, he was very attracted to Joe. How could you not be? And, um, and they cut it all out because it ended up not really making sense. <laughs> <laughs> What yeah, and I was I was playing a bailiff who was just trying to get through another day at work, but was yes dealing with the advances of Justin's character. Well, yeah, it was confusing because I was I, I I all I wanted to do was get close to Joe, so I kept trying to find ways to bring him papers or, you know, is, uh, can I bring you this, uh, you know, evidence and whatever. I, you know, I wanted to get near him, and it, it was it was so fun to do. But then Kevin said he had to cut it all because none of it made. He said. <laughs> You, you you're playing a lawyer like it had nothing to do with the other character and Zach and it, it, made, it made total sense to me I mean yeah, if it, was, a, it was its own mini movie I think Kevin yeah. should just go with it and just have its own separate mini movie I uh, I'd be so fun it's a bad sign when, when when Kevin Smith is like this is too much of a digression this is just <laughs> too far afield <laughs> it was I know I, I, I know I 
And then, and then it was in New Orleans. So it was Justin, it was me, Justin, and Craig Robinson at the uh, bar hotel afterwards, just laughing. Oh, and Craig, and Craig was like eating edibles. He had a couple edibles, and, and we were just so, and I was so jealous that I could, I had to fly back. I was doing a play um, in, in this in New York, and so I had to go back that night. I think I, it killed me because it was such a fun environment. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to go to New Orleans just for the day, you know. <laughs> Speaking of, of edibles, we should talk about your new film, Lady of the Manor, which stars yes. the lovely Melanie Linsky. We all love and adore ah. Melanie Linsky. You guys yes. made a wise choice, Christian and Justin, in casting this talented actor in the center of your film. She plays um, a near to well kind of a, I don't know, how would we describe her? This, is, this, 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 this one is co-written by you guys. This is your baby. How did this one happen? Give us a little sense of the, the story of Lady of the Manor. I feel like there needs to be an updated term for ne'er do well, but that is the but that is the most accurate way to describe her, right? Like she's uh, savage, a slacker. She's a slacker. slacker. Yeah, even that's like thirty years old. But yeah, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, mm -hmm. uh, so basically, Justin and I, speaking of edibles, we were stoned one night, and um, we were talking about. I forget how it came up, but we we said at one point we said, wouldn't it be funny if someone made uh, a comedic version of Psycho. And that yeah. was, and that started all of it. So we thought like, wouldn't it be funny if a, it was a comedy and there was like an annoying ghost who just like, who the person just wanted to get rid of. Right, um, she was just like getting in the way. She was just yeah. like kind of, uh, I, I, there definitely needs to be a new term for cock block. I don't think, you, I don't know that cock block is the best, is the right best term to use but but she she does things like that for, for this uh ne'er do well <laughs> you and, and you guys uh obviously cast a bunch of not only talented actors but you've got a, a pretty good rolodex of of good friends that are i mean judy greer in this oh. one louis guzman popping in like everybody uh, you know everybody is it's a cavalcade of stars so this must have been was it kind of a uh like where did you shoot it was it a fun one to make or was this kind of like a hard production to mount uh, well, it was our it was our first one, so we have nothing to really compare it to. But it uh, it was hard. I can, <laughs> I can attest to that. Yeah, we, we shot it in uh, Tampa, in the Tampa area, uh, for Savannah because it was um, cheaper. We shot it uh, quickly and cheaply, and like you said, we had these great actors, so we got very lucky. And without them, we would have been in a whole heap of trouble. But we had like amazing professional like kind patient actors yeah. to really help us. Patrick Duffy too. Yes. From uh, Dallas. That's who our mother was most excited about. Justin asked him if he knew how to do a Southern accent when he first met him. <laughs> That's true. And he said, he said, well, I mean, I was, yeah. And he was so nice about it. He's like, I was on a show called Dallas for uh, thir 13 years. <laughs> that is true. That's absolutely true. I said, <laughs> he was so generous to not shame me. I think yeah. you shamed me more than he did. Uh, I continue to shame you. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's a funny and story. There was, oh wait, I gotta get the, I kinda wanna get the painting. Oh, maybe it's too far, it's too far. Yeah. There, was a there was a painting of Christian that the art department did because we, we, the art department was amazing. They turned this house in Tampa into, into an old, into an estate from like the Victorian era. And, um, and so there were all these paintings, these old, you know, uh, of, of, of dignitaries and stuff. And there was one of, that they did of Christian uh, as a general, as like a Revolutionary War era general. And, um, and Patrick Duffy was like, Christian, uh, did you play the joke on him or did he just spot it? it was, there's a program where you can get your actual face put into one of these old timey paintings basically. Uh -huh. And so it was like clearly my face with this old timey <laughs> painting around it. And he said, you know, I gotta say that, that looks exactly, exactly like you, Christian. I, I can't believe. And I said, you think, you really think so? <laughs> and he was like, you don't see that? It looks exactly like, and then he kept bringing people from the crew over the cast. He's like, hey, Amanda, come here. Don't you see that this looks exactly <laughs> like Christian? And they were all like, I don't see what you're talking about. Everyone played along. So I may have made him like lose oh, his mind. Poor Patrick but, uh, Duffy has been in deep therapy ever since. Yeah, I know, I know. Rooting. It's funny though. It's one of our fine. I bet. I bet Joe has a slew of paintings of himself leading hordes of armies <laughs> at his home in different time periods, in different guises, in different states of armor. He should. 
Well, so I, I mean, I, I have a slew of paintings of my Dungeons and Dragons characters done by the original D and D artists from the seventies and eighties. Like the actual guys who are still alive have done like like original oil paintings, like in the style. Wow, that's amazing. Of Dungeons and Dragons books that you know we all had as kids. So I actually I I do have some like elaborately framed. Um, so had, they had to paint in like, they had to give you muscles and stuff. They, they, <laughs> they, they had to put my face on. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, they're all. Uh, they had to take away muscles from the right. other ones to make <laughs> it more right. realistic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like we have a ringer on game night with Joe here because there's yes. nobody I know that is more devoted to a good game, albeit a little bit of a, more of a fantasy kind of game, Dungeons and Dragons. This is a different kind of game tonight. This is, I don't, I don't fuck around when it comes to game night, y'all. I'm just, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna kind of drop the gauntlet. The, you know, that's what a ne'er do well would do. I think back yeah. in the day, I don't um, think a ne'er do well would be that confident. He would. They wouldn't. <laughs> what, what about a, what about a ne'er do well cock blocker? <laughs> but that. Up. Well, we've up. got a bunch of we've got a bunch of talented near do wells. Let's get right to it. Let's play some games. I'm gonna bring okay. on my trusty producer Sammy, who's gonna lead us uh, through some Jackbox adventures, and we'll see what trouble we can get into. Sammy, please enter. Ta -da. Hi, Sammy. Everybody. The game we are going to play is called Quiplash. What it is is it's it's a battle of wit here. So um, at any given time, so each round you will each get two prompts. Don't say your prompt out loud. You have to answer with the wittiest, weirdest, grossest, funniest thing you can imagine. Uh, and then at the end of each round, people will vote on their favorite answer. Got it. So, it's like, like a mad lib. Exactly, exactly. Indeed. I'll click the everybody's in. Three, two, one. Oof. Here we go. This already, this is really stressful. So Sammy, um, we're no, talk to me. We're going to be doing it on here. We, we, we're yes. Yes. So, so don't reveal the question. Controller. Don't say the question out loud. You're going to get a, everyone's going to get some different questions to answer, Justin, and be okay. as witty, mm -hmm. irreverent, truthful as you want. And we'll see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Witty, right. irreverent. And uh, each round, the points are, are uh, worth more. So get ready for the two prompts to come up on your device. Again, don't say them out loud. Uh, one other person will have the same prompts as you. Okay. Um, and I too, I join the audience, so I can be a tiebreaker here. Uh, and now your two prompts should be coming on. You have a minute and a half. Oh, Josh, Christian came in. Josh is usually like the first one. Um, because I don't think he really thinks about it. He just uh, goes instinct. with the poop joke, generally. I didn't think yeah. about so, it either. Well, you're in. Yeah, that's okay. It works well. Finishing is half Again, the battle. Josh is usually a poop joke, so. Thirty seconds. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we Best go. Best of luck to everybody. I'm rooting for all of you. All right, a bad name for a water park. Petri Park or Seaman Springs. Now on your device, yep, unless that's you about answered right. this, on your device, vote for which answer you like better. You disgusting, um, disgusting three, people. Three, two, one. Sorry, I can't vote on I think. Uh, oh, but if uh, you yeah, already- If you it, answered it. Oh, oh, okay. You don't get to yeah, you only get to vote on the ones you didn't answer. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I, I guess I we know that you that. answered one. I would have voted for that. I, yeah, that was fun. Oh, uh, uh, Christian yeah, dominated Christian that one. That was good. Last you. Yeah. The government should legalize the truth or ne'er do well. <laughs> hmm. Go ahead and vote on your devices now. Political answer. There's a callback. There's a little bit of everything here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Search your heart. <laughs> it, no one, no one wanted to go there today. They like. They these are all real right wing nutheads. <laughs> when in doubt, okay. a callback. Yeah. 
Uh, mm -hmm. The pyramids would be even more impressive if they contained blank, celebs, <laughs> or jello pudding. <laughs> really good. <laughs> this would be a reason to visit the pyramids. I've never been, but if either of these were there, I would go. <laughs> <This is suck. laughs> what? Game night at the pyramids. Ooh. Sometimes just... it takes a game or two to get into the rhythm. Don't worry. I like this. It would just be messy, Joe. I like it, but it would be I... messy. <clears throat> Semen Springs. <laughs> the most by that popular t-shirt slogan you in can, Mississippi can... is probably... Oh, okay. I'm with fatty, or we don't know how to spell it either. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm with fatty for the quick laugh. So sorry, Josh. Really? So sorry. <laughs> That's funny, though. I don't need your pity. I don't need your pity. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who the better writer is but you're between nice. the two of us. <laughs> All right, for round one, Christian. Whoa, wow. dominating. The, wow. the serious one, dominating. All right, uh, round the two. The sober one. Anything can happen now. Okay. All points are doubled. You have two new prompts on your phone now. About 65 seconds. Christian's in. Like, watching everyone's face as they're answering, you think it's like the SATs. Very really serious. I feel, like, I feel like the test is to be on the edge of actually being canceled or not being canceled. Do something funny <laughs> enough that you won't actually get <laughs> your career. You're right. Ended. That that's the genius. Mm -hmm. Which I think you I just have less failed. of a career than you don't, then you can take more chances. <laughs> we have about 10 seconds. No pressure, Justin. Five. Just end. Oh, oh. shit. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You'll give that one to someone. All right. The worst family secret that could come out over Thanksgiving dinner. Everyone's adopted or gonorrhea everywhere. Vote for your favorite now. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusted Joe. He's he's over it. I just I know it's just there's a like there's a punk album in 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 the second one I think. Oh really? I did, I inadvertently did that. Gonorrhea everywhere should be an album by the Chromax, I think. <laughs> Josh is very punk rock. Always. All right. What to do when your parachute fails? Cannonball or shit my panties? <laughs> I feel like a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. yeah, why just one? Wow. <laughs> it's dominating. This guy. Wow. This wow. guy. Fancies. That was a tough one, though. That was. All right. A hip new advertising slogan for soft. Semen Springs, callback. <laughs> or no answer. Boo, uh, Justin. Oh, boo. So I, I, okay. boo, Justin. So they don't write part of the answer? I did write part of the answer. I think he had to hit the submit thing. I think oh, if it was any consolation, mm -hmm. Joe probably would have won anyway. He would have won that. Oh, good one. But somehow, uh, the, the weirdest thing you can buy at the Vatican gift shop, the Pope's song, or crucifix edibles. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. One, one is a magic mic routine that needs to happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very much. That's All right, 50-50. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, this is, we're going to tell you round two. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Christian. Our standing stays. Uh, here we go for the last slash, round three. You all oh. will get the exact 
same prompt. You are all answering the same prompt. Okay. Um, when it comes time to answer, you get to vote three times. Okay. Three um, times. So you can vote three times for one or separate it however you see fit. But your prompt okay. is, you would never go on a roller coaster called blank. And you have 45 seconds to answer. Justin's quick this time. He was waiting for this. Yeah. One. Well, I <laughs> he had this one ready. Here's my lesson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Justin, by the way, did you see <laughs> Panic. my T-shirt in reference to? I did. Grab Thor's hammer. Yes, that's awesome, Josh. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. We got Never about surrender. ten seconds. Okay. I love that shirt. All right. You would never <laughs> go on a roller coaster called Vomit Alley, The Defecator, Semen Springs, or Ninety Nine Deaths and Counting. You can vote three times. However, you want to split up those three votes. I think every, no one should hang their head in shame on this one. Everybody did well. Mm -mm. Congratulations to us all. Yeah, I don't even, I don't know where to go here. Yeah. <laughs> so we use three votes to, to all on this. Disseminate one. however you want. Yeah, yeah you wherever can you do feel, three wherever on you feel one deserves. answer. One vote for three different answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, 99 deaths and counting. Okay. There you go, Josh. Oh, oh, I meant to vote on that one as well. Mm. I think I just- James Spring. Wow. <laughs> 750 for that. Who, who knew the Seaman Defecator. Springs works for every question? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. And Vomit Alley, Christian's Vomit Alley. Justin gave that one too. Wow. Well, we know who All won right. this first game. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. This is great. <clears throat> okay. Here this we is go. just semantics we now. Go. We know what's going to happen. We know. We get it. Yeah. <laughs> Although Josh... Justin just edged you out. Hey. Right All right. The Long brothers have dominated. Ooh. All right. Should, should we should we do another round, guys? Should we try it again? Redemption, I love it. Joe. Joe, sure. Joe, Joe is seething. Joe is ready to <laughs> destroy his Joe, iPad. Joe, Joe's dog is like bent in half. <laughs> love, yeah, I'm about to put this iPad off of the balcony. I'm with Fatty is funny. Oh wait, top answers. This is cool. Disconnected. Oh. Okay. okay um, so what do we do now? Do we do? Yeah, it's gonna. Show? You're gonna have to go into a new uh, Gold Ken Jackbox.tv, and your room code this time is F. C W C F C W C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh man, this is great. This is tough. You can see who came up with all the funny stuff in our movie now. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> when you're writing the script, the it's not timed on like 90 second increments. Like best joke in 90 seconds. No, it seconds, is. Go. We time it. Yeah. We wanted to <laughs> finish the whole thing in, in a day, so it was a very strict. <laughs> right. <laughs> You'll see uh, when you see it. <laughs> Joe, does it ask you to press everybody's in? Oh, it really does. Sure. Okay, you there the you power. go. You have all the power this round. I am the captain. Yes. He's the captain now. Fearless leader, all right. So now we know how it works. You know what to expect. You know that the grosser you go, the better chance you have. That's how it seems <laughs> That's the rule. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The more like teenage boy you go, the better you're gonna well, do. Not to right? diminish Christian's victory. Soft. <laughs> no, it was, yes. Yeah, Sorry. the filthier, right. more depraved. You've gotta know your audience. <laughs> okay, your first two prompts are on your phone now. There's no spell checker. <laughs> no spell checker. 
but you know, there's a lot of misspellings here. That's tripped up a lot of people to spell check. Christian's in. Ugh, Josh is in. We've got about Justin's in. We've got about 40 seconds. I feel like Joe's um, lack of sleeves is an intimidation tactic. That's just like a subtle nod that like, yeah, we it. get it. No, don't, that no, doesn't, yeah. not the same effect, Justin. Oh, no, it's okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 17 seconds. I will not be caught answerless again. That's my goal in this game, to answer all each round. There you go. Complete the Five task. Five seconds. Oh, no. What? Oh. You, you missed one? You missed one? No. <laughs> all right, no. the secret to the happy life. Penicillin or a lack of sadness? There's the literal answer and uh, penicillin. I'm actually allergic to penicillin, so. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> we know yeah. your answer. But. <laughs> <laughs> but not like deathly, so it's fine. Um, all right. Next up, an image that would make the Sistine Chapel ceiling look more badass. Leather chaps or Michelangelo's paint? Oh. Oh. Both <laughs> badass. Mm. Mm. There's a word you don't might hear be, every day. It might be in there somewhere. You know, they find all these like hidden, hidden meanings. Did you do it Did, okay? I, I clearly misspelled Michelangelo. I appreciate you for not. Uh, thanks for <laughs> not. I like it so much. Don't worry. You, you, you Michelangelo. That's okay. You got but the I other spelled one. taint properly. Yeah, My perfect. parents are going to love that. Uh, a good name for a restaurant that serves animals with the face is still on them is oh. Beauty's Tasty Yummy. You would have pressed mine Joe sucked. The game's press. even like intimidated by Joe. Justin. Hey. Oh, that's what happens okay. when you answer. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was a good tip, Sammy. <laughs> that you gave before. Um, okay. Next two prompts are on your phone. Sixty seconds. Josh is in. Nope. 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 Oh, you're not happy? No. Generally, no. <laughs> With your answers, though. Oh, about the answers. Yeah. No. Not. Not yeah, that. Yeah. Either. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not even a little, a little pick you up. Mm -hmm. All right. We are approaching thirty seconds. We've got 20 seconds. Joe knows he needs a good round. He's using every second. Yeah. What, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna become a color commentator for Quiplash. Ed, Ed, Ge Ed Gein, that was it. So that was the best. That was it. That was the piece. All right, something. Something you'd make a butler do the moment you hired him. Turn his head and cough or only answer to DJ Jizz. I mean, <laughs> can we combine them? They both work. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa! Nobody voted. What do you mean? No? No. I said 50%. It said no vote. Oh. They were both right. so good um, that people were so conflicted. They didn't know we're what to shock. do. A great place to hide an Easter egg up Santa's butt or next to my paint. I mean, 
if Santa's writing the second one, it's the same answer. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, I, 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 um, I couldn't vote. I, I tried to vote. What would May, you have if voted you for, just so we know? Yeah. I, I, I hate to say this, I would have voted for the taint one. <laughs> 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 I, anything taint, I'm in. Yeah. Now we know. It's That's another great quote. Can... In hell. Slayer's last show, The Defecator. Call back. Uh, and if it's not letting you, sometimes you just have to refresh the page on your phone. And Okay. Sammy also works for the Geek Squad at Best Buy, so if you guys need anything, um, <laughs> she can help out with all your IT needs. I'm always just refreshed is my main thing. <laughs> Control Alt Delete, guys. <laughs> Try it. Yeah. Restart. <laughs> um, all right. Why did the mortician cross the road to find someone to kill or to steal a cadaver? Both beautifully murdery. Just looking for work. Okay. We're close. These are all split. We're just all too evenly matched. Yeah. And similar, similar answers. <laughs> Everyone's on the same vibe now. Okay, Christian's oh. down in the last. <clears throat> Whoa. Very close. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> The pain and glory of Quip Lash. Yeah. Here we go, the last flash. <laughs> okay. um, it really is an emotional roller coaster. It really is, every time. Uh, the prompt that everybody's going to get is a little known nickname for New Orleans. All right, 20 seconds. Gosh. And then we've got five seconds. Oh, there we go. All right. A little known nickname for New Orleans. Barf in Bayou, Bayou. The medium size easy, where I courted my wife, or STDs and crawdads are us. You can vote three times. <laughs> Again, I don't think any, I think all have their merits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about America's Taints? That's what I wish I had done. <laughs> if oh. you had 10 more seconds, you would have gotten it. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, that's horrible now. I don't mean that now. No. Was, oh, no. no, I meant like, oh, it was good. And now oh. I realize, oh, oh shame on you. Like, oh, that was good. You should have done that. Yeah, now I'm the asshole. <laughs> um, where I courted my wife. Beautiful. That was just That's impossible sweet. not to vote for. It was too sweet yeah. to ignore. Yeah. I ignored it because it was too sweet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Medium size, easy. <laughs> Barfing by you. Yeah. The crowd loves it. All right, it here we go. From behind. Yeah. I think Justin's going to win. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get enough. Oh, there we it's go. really close. Whoa. It's really close. Oh. The Long Brothers are just dominating. Josh, let's uh, call it a tie because you were so nice about our film. <laughs> I mean, our movie. It's a movie and a film. That's it's the mark more, of a great a piece of art. <laughs> um, up to you guys. We can, we can we can call it a day or play one more round. Totally up but, to you. If you guys need to run, all good, but <clears throat> up to you. J Josh, what's this from? Well, let's do another one. Come on, man. Let's do something that really cooks. Back to the future. Oh. Ah, all right. I couldn't just leave that hanging something out that, there. Something that really cooks. <laughs> it sounds like Marvin. Marvin. It sounded Perry. like Christopher Walken. 
It's your cousin. Yeah, I did a little bit. Leo. It's your cousin, Marvin. 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 You know that new sound you've been looking for? Well, listen to this. <laughs> okay, you're good. Guys, goes. what do you want to do? Totally let's do you. it. Let's go. Kurt, what do you think? One more? Sure. Yeah, let's do another it's one. It's fun. Okay. One more. You get okay. your damn hands off of her. Hey, man. Hey, you. <laughs> Where do we come down in Back to the Future 2 and 3? What Rank the Back to the Future films. One, two, three. I think, I agree. I agree. But, you know, every once in a while, and I just met somebody who loves, oh, the, the guy who directed, Zach Kreger, great director, directed a, a movie I have coming out. He is, loves the third one, swears by it. I think it's his favorite one. No. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I think the third one at the time was, like better reviewed than the second. Second one's so manic and crazy, but I yes. think that's kind of why it's awesome. It's just so fucking. Out I there. I really like the second one. <clears throat> yeah, and and for the for like real fan, like if you love the first one so much, the second the manic and craziness of the second one has so much to do with the first one that it's kind of fun, you know. Right. And it's fun just because of that. Yeah. Does anyone it, here? <laughs> yeah. Now I was just gonna say it throws me off the the like the the double casting, the double oh, yeah. and triple. Like all that really threw me off. Oh, you know, really? Like, but it was like- it You mean like Elizabeth Shue and stuff? And the Crispin Glover uh, part? Well, like, you know, <laughs> like I like that George McFly in the original isn't played by Michael J. Fox. Do you understand? But like somehow in Back to the Future 2, you know, all of a sudden Michael J. Fox is playing like- well, He's not playing everybody. George. <clears throat> and I not, I just wanted, you know, I don't know. You know, it's there's a kind of sticky for... element to it. You're saying like undeniable Michael J. Fox playing... is playing his son in the second one. So why wouldn't he play his father? Uh huh. Right. But all, I, I, I do see what you're saying. Like all the makeup and stuff of them being mm -hmm. old is fun, but it's also like pretty. It yeah. makes it a little broader. It's a little. You cut out uh... the chance of finding another Crispin Glover. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't know. I just wanted to see it different. You know, I want to see some different. Has anyone here worked uh, with the great Crispin Glover? Justin, you press uh, everybody's in. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Justin, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, I have not, Josh. I would love to. I, I, although I, well, I guess be careful what you wish for. But um, I just saw the, the making of the Netflix um, thing, the how we made this. How, yeah. this how did this made. get made? Yeah. How did this get made? And, and according to that, he was very squirrely. Uh, he didn't like marks. He didn't, he liked to. He wanted to move around. Did you have you seen that? He wanted so yeah. they built they built him this little like it sounded like they like a pen almost. Yeah. <laughs> because he was like, like, he was like no, I want to go over here. And he yeah. would just kind of wander off. It's like it's like acting with wolves on true blood. They would make these little electric fences for them to walk inside and they could kind of go anywhere. But are you serious? Like, yeah. Well, your first two prompts are up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh oh. Um. That's what it's like working with Josh, too. Yeah, I definitely need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to explore the space, guys. <laughs> Christian and Josh always neck and neck. Well, at least in terms of speed. <laughs> in terms of it. speed. In terms of speed. Mm -hmm. Thirty seconds. You guys should have. Have you guys had uh, Christopher Lloyd on the podcast? I had him on uh, Happy Sad Confused recently. It was a. Uh, it was a treat. Oh no, that would be amazing though. No, yeah. my God, that would be. Oh, I want to hear that. Yeah, he's a. Uh... Is he still? Uh, is he still sharp? Ten seconds. Yeah, uh, he's playing King. He was playing King Lear actually in Williamstown this summer. Wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Cri Crispin Glover? No, no. no. Did I say Crispin? Christopher Lloyd. Oh, oh, oh! You my did God. say Christopher Lloyd, yeah. Oh, he was doing King Lear. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Bad. Oh, a bad place for the rocket ship to crash would be the planet of the assholes or Crispin <laughs> Glovers. Go ahead and vote. I'm just kidding. I love you, Everyone Crispin Glover. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean, that. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I love you. The planet of the assholes is funny. Okay. 
Crispin loves watching this show, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how far is too far when your family disowns you? Or who the fuck wants to know? Hmm. My mind. Uncharacteristically mm. aggressive for me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a Joe. I rewarded you. I rewarded Thank you for it. Uh, how would John Travolta mispronounce his own name? Tom Cruise <laughs> or Gene Triple Horna? <laughs> <laughs> G and Triple Horn is a very specific <laughs> version to go to. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> it had an wow. Adele Dazimi ring to it, I thought. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I got to give you Planet of the Assholes now. I'm, I'm regretting that. All right. The best thing about being really dumb, driving in LA, or I don't understand the question. <laughs> That's great. Yes. <laughs> Bad, look at you. That's funny. All right, round one's in the bag. Okay. Ooh, tied. Wow, I don't have a Cyclops avatar anymore. I have two eyes. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> You've evolved. Yeah. All right, yeah. round two prompts are on your phone now. I've got two eyes now. Not one minute. Ugh. Dash is in. Oh, you're really hard on yourself here. Yeah. Sometimes that means you, you got something good. 30 seconds. Mm, not in this case. Okay. We'll see. You can't qualify it yet. Joe's in. Now, the long gentlemen are in the same general atmosphere. They could be feeding each other these answers and just conspiring mm -hmm. against I, us. I see now why you wanted us in separate areas. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Always. No cheating. Today's music needs more. Yesterday's music or her. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. A bad title for a self help book is Self Help for Dumb Dummies <laughs> or Jim Can Laundry. <laughs> I'm 99% sure the latter has been published by a Jersey Shore member. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, some dummies. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. The celebrity you'd eat first if you were a cannibal, and the side dish you'd eat them with: William H Macy with cornbread or Kevin Bacon with bacon. I'm just saying, if somebody had said G and Triple Horn, they would have gotten my vote immediately. <laughs> so you wasted an opportunity. <laughs> oh, I Both didn't are vote. A treat. Fuck. Come on, man. I know. That's the first time I've ever done that. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the first time I've ever played. I was like, not even today. Uh, which new marshmallow should Lucky Charm cereal introduce? Phlegm or squishy beer? <laughs> Mm. 
game. Wow. Bonus points for spelling phlegm correctly, <clears throat> yeah, too. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. Right. Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> no, I, I, I did. You got a point. You got mine. Right? <laughs> oh. One year for Halloween, right. my, one, my, my good friend for Halloween one year was phlegm. That's funny. <laughs> How did he do that? Uh, I mean, it was like a big, uh, it was, there was plastic involved. Uh -huh. Oh, it's elaborate. Yeah. All right. The prompt is an odd painting to hang above your bed. For the last lash. Joe's in, Christian's in. Josh is Who in, else? 10 seconds. F Flea in the Backs of the Future sequels takes me out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, an odd painting, to hang, odd painting to hang above your bed. Joe and Justin on horseback, a black velvet Christian Glover, Christian Long in Victorian <laughs> garb, or a painting of a bed. Oh, oh self-referential work here today. <laughs> All right. Wow, two votes from Joe. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> I tapped it twice. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I actually want a black belt of Chris Glover, so somebody can tell me what he got. Custom piece. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crowd pleaser. That's good. That's yeah, a, I'm going to commission that for go. you guys. Like 10 I, And now I want that. I know. <laughs> I would be holding on to Joe though, right? Clearly. I mean, Joe's in front, I'd imagine. I'm I am uh I'm I'm Putin in, in this one. It'd be funny so, if I was in front. It would look funnier, I think. We know it'd be uh, great if you were riding it, but I was the centaur and you were riding on my back. Uh who who is that? What happened? Don't even play. You you won. You won. Two hey. rounds. <clears throat> Congratulations. Well, let's play again. Let's just keep Congratulations, playing. Justin. Josh, I have nothing to do. Let's keep playing. Cut to 12 hours later. Please, yes. no more. <laughs> Who's the quippiest? <laughs> <laughs> you did excellent work. All of you should be very proud. Uh, that was Jenny, fun. Let's, let's, that was let's so get rid fun. of the quiplash. Let's, let's do, uh, delete that so we don't have that clogging the screen for a second. Oh, what a fun game. I guess you can play that with friends. Well, oh, thanks. What are we chopping? Or enemies. Or <laughs> I didn't mean that we weren't friends. No, don't worry yeah, about it. You can I'm play with friends not. and acquaintances. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Fine. No. <laughs> um, that was really fun. That was awesome. Uh, even more awesome, I guess, when you win. Joe, don't worry. We're going to have you back so you can dominate because this, today wasn't your day, but next time. You know, the verbal portion of the SATs was not my jam. It was more math. <laughs> We're just going to do the math problems next time on game night. Yeah, we'll do proof. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. People will love that. <laughs> yeah. Let's do some plugs before I let you guys go. <laughs> um, Lady of the Manor, how, how can folks check this one out, guys? What's the easiest way? Justin? September 17th. September 17th, it's going to be everywhere on all the platforms and the thing. Oh, Apple TV, right, Chris? Yeah, Apple TV and wherever you buy movies and in some theaters. Yeah, amazing. And then, yeah. and then sorry, uh, September 21st, four days later, it'll be available on Blu-ray and DVD. A lot of fun, special features, uh, a lot of deleted scenes and outtakes and all that. Uh, thank you, Josh, for, for watching it and saying nice things. Of course, of course. Always supporting. And Mr. Manganello, by the way, uh, thank you so much for taking the time right on the eve. He's, in, he's an Ireland guy. He's about to start a very cool new gig, Moonhaven, this new AMC show. Wish you the best of luck on that one, man. And as always, you know I, I walk around head to toe. When I'm not doing Galaxy Quest gear, I have uh. Death Saves gear on all the time. 
So everybody there should get that, get their their Joe Manganiello outfit. Um, anything else to plug? You've got the the Zack Snyder uh, animated show coming relatively soon, I hope. Maybe oh. kind of sort of. Yeah, it'll be um, Army of the Dead, Las Vegas, the anime series that'll come out sometime next year. Um, oh, cool. I did, love, I did a Love, Death, and Robots that'll come out next year. Um, and then on October 29th, um, the rotoscopic, rotoscopic, uh, crazy, psycho, fantasy, blood and guts, decapitation, blood squirting everywhere, nudity all over the place. <laughs> that film. ABC um, Family? Uh, yeah. ABC Family. Uh, it's called the Garfield the Spine, movie. Uh, the Spine <laughs> of the Night. That'll come out on October 29th. And then um, AMC Plus, I got to give them a shout out. Um, they uh, just bought uh, my 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 film, my crazy uh, superhero deconstruction movie, Arch Enemy for AMC Plus and my Smith's breakup film, uh, uh, Shoplifters of the World. They're both on AMC Plus. I Jeez. apparently only watch Joe Manganiello movies because I've seen every single thing you've just said and it's all excellent. <laughs> I highly recommend all Thanks, of it, guys. No, no, it's, it's, it's all good stuff, guys. Um, Jason Bob's reboot starring Justin Long and Joe right? Manganiello is also of course. people get movies. Right. <laughs> there, you, there you go. We'll petition Kevin Smith for the 45 minute spin off of oh just the outtakes. Guys. Oh my God. That'd be <laughs> yeah, fun. They were funny, man. We had a fun, that was a fun, fun, fun time. Oh my God. Okay. It was, good stuff. Uh, this, as was this. Thank you, Sammy and Josh. This okay. was so great. Thanks, guys. That was so fun. Thank you for wasting time in the best possible way. Hope this oh. was a nice distraction and um, hope to catch up with all of you guys soon in person. And all. Oh, oh. Good night. There's, there's, Joe's, there's Joe's crotch. There's <laughs> furry crotch. <laughs> Bye, Joe's crotch. Bye. That's, that's a sleepy dog. It's like, <laughs> man. Thank you guys so much.